Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live in Atlanta at the Sweetwater Brewery right now with the John T. John T., thank you very much for being here, guys. It is our pleasure. Yeah, this is about to, we're about to share a lot of your music with our audience right now. I do not yet know what is coming up first or second or third, but I can't wait to find out, man. What are you guys going to do first? I think we're going to do a tune of ours called Ishmael.
Thank you. All right. Thank you, fellas, man. This has been a total pleasure getting to know you over the last 90 minutes or so and, uh, and doing this, man. I'm a big fan of what you do, so thanks for doing it in front of us here today. Um, we, so Sweetwater has been an excellent host thus far. We've just been at a brewery for the last three days and freely imbibing, as I'm about to right now. So this is a collaboration, Sweetwater Riff, um, and they've made this delightful vodka soda drink, which I'm about to have right now. The collaboration, the collaborative nature of it has been kind of a theme of the week, and that is very evident in your guys' music. I mean, I'm over here at cutting between the cameras, and I, it's difficult to cut away from the wide because there's so much happening with every one of your, everybody is equally contributing to the band. Can you talk a bit about how the collaborative nature of that works within the band, who writes songs, brings them to the table, or is it all literally everybody at the same time? Yeah, it's kind of a mixed bag. Um, we are all um, you know, responsible for writing a couple tunes here and there. Scott, our drummer, probably writes the most um, Oftentimes, you know, we'll kind of bring in a skeleton and then, you know, uh, figure out all the chords and then kind of figure out our own parts from there. Some parts are more specific, but definitely a mixed bag. Um, equal contribution. Uh, once the song is kind of learned and performed, then we all kind of put our own spin on the parts to kind of, uh, you know, make it the jaunty thing. For right. Sure. Um, how about production? Does that do you guys work with outside producers, outside engineers, or is that do you guys have the chops to do that all in house? Um, we are all like, you know, uh, the s one step above novice, I think, when it comes to kind of producer stuff. So we like to figure it out and we like to, um, you know, uh, explore the boundaries, you know, what we're capable of. And then, but if we, if we need help, we're, we're happy to call some outside people for sure. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I also have like a 200 level knowledge of audio signal right. flow. I've got a <laughs> 500 level of video stuff, but um, right. I'm right there with you on audio. Um, it, can you identify a, has there been a key collaborator from outside of the four of you, or is it literally just, just the four of you collaborating with each other? Um, I'd say mostly just the four of us. Um, you know, it's kind of been like a, ever shifting kind of thing because the original lineup um, actually only included Scott and I um, with some other members and then you know John got added and that kind of brought in a whole new collaborative idea and then when Tyler came in you know writing styles shift whenever you learn the possibilities of what a new member can do that kind of thing so um, I think it's a yeah pretty even split and pretty pretty much just the four of us I'd say yeah we have had we have a couple songs that are lyrics written by uh a friend of ours, yeah. Zach Yapchik. Zach Yapchik, Chris so, Collins. Um, yeah, Chris Collins. Yeah. Lyrical Jonathan collaborations Hart, a, a occasionally. Couple lyrical collaborations. As you can see, we're not great with the word stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm like the Hunter Garcia word partnership. I mean, it seems like a very, very applicable tradition to carry on. Absolutely. We. Is Yapper as good as Robert Hunter? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> but he's not, great. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Nice, man. Well, dude, we really appreciate you guys coming and doing this on show day. This is the start of the tour. You're at Smith's Old Bar tonight here in Atlanta. So right. uh, thank you for sharing the music with us here at this lovely brewery right now, man. What do you guys feel like doing uh, next? Um, we're going to do a tune that Tyler brought to the table this time uh, called Breakfast of Champs. Listen up, time is in your gut. Feel it heating up your chest. Grab it by the nut. What's in it? It's here. Got to leave it on the wheel. Feel it all down. I know you'll come around. To the guy, smiling passerby. Early signs of manifested in your sight of eye. You learn it anyway, just something more to say. But something which is just another way to hide. You gotta break a few legs before you can make an omelet. You gotta break a few legs before you can make me vomit. If you wanna lose your mind, it's gonna try.
out your ass Hometown season pass From a ticket to observe the hero shot mass
Thanks, guys. Wow. Dude, my goodness, fellas. This is a lot of fun. Thank you for coming and doing this today. We appreciate it very much. The internet appreciates it very much, man. We've got a lot of hell yeah boys from Chris Ackridge of the internet, and it's all in capitals, so you know that he means it. We love the uh, internet. So. Kyle Monty from the internet. I saw and met these guys in Dallas a while back. Amazing show. Even cooler guys. I could not agree more, man. This is, uh, this is a lot of fun. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the community that surrounds you guys in, I mean, on the internet and also in reality and also the taper community and the importance of having uh, access to your live shows. I was just checking out the archive and there's 786 shows up there and you did a, a great job numbers. of, of uh, <laughs> <laughs> organizing them by, is it an, a stereo pair audience mic? Is it a matrix out? Is it soundboard out? Is there video? And it's, uh, can you talk a bit about why it's so important to preserve those cultural artifacts and give people free access to them? Absolutely. Um, yeah, we've always kind of you know it started off that we just wanted to kind of record ourselves to you know like listen back and be like was that good or or not um and then it kind of you know slowly developed that we met some taper friends through uh you know the fish community and they started coming and taping our stuff and um i think just like the whole like idea of live shows being able to be taped and listened to and out there for free if it's just somebody coming and putting up some mics you know i think that's just a great thing i've listened to so many dead and fish shows like you know as a result of people doing just that. So, um, you know, we, yeah, highly encourage them to come out and, and do that whole thing. We also kind of like are our own archivists, you know? Um, so most of the shows, most of the soundboards and stuff that are up on archive are ones that uh, we uploaded ourselves. Um, and we actually just yesterday uh, launched our nugs.net page. So nice. we got 15 soundboards up there right now. Um, but that does not mean we don't want people to come and tape our shows and put them on archive anymore, so. Is this going to end up on your video archive? Would you are you going to embed this and put it up on uh, on the on, on the, the internet archive? If you give us the file, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, some of them are links to YouTube pages, right? Oh, or is right. It so there's like the internet archive, meaning like you can view web pages that existed, but we just put it on like their music hosting side of things, right? So. Right. Well, dude, I, uh, before I had this job, the, um, I worked in Wolfgang's vault, which is, it's, uh, Bill Graham's archive. So all the, like, so, so, so many dead shows and Santana and Jefferson airplane and all that stuff from the Fillmore, Fillmore East and Winterland is, I mean, that's what I did for five years was just transfer thousands of hours of Grateful Dead. And so that's uh, near and dear to my heart. So I just appreciate everything about that. And I appreciate you guys music. So <laughs> That's right. Yeah, man. Um, and there is, I, I'm not sure what's happening next in the set. You guys can play literally all afternoon if you want to. Um, what do you, well, what we do you do feel like doing? We do a show at Smith's Old Bar <laughs> yeah, upstairs right. tonight, Atlanta. Um, but I think we're going to do one more. Um, and it's called Colorado. This is off our, our first album.
Thank you, Sweetwater. Appreciate you having us. All right, man. Thank you guys so much for doing this. Um, everybody is on board. The internet is on board. Greg Pitts of internet fame says Gumbo says F yeah. See you guys next week. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for, for people to see you live in the upcoming future. Um, Smith's Old Bar tonight. You're all over the East Coast and there's a homecoming show in Boulder on December 11th. So uh, travel safely, please, between all true? those dates. <laughs> and, uh, no, that is true. That's, that is all true. Man, this has been... A lot of fun, dude. Thank, Thank you guys you for so much. Us. Thank you. All right. See you next time. That is.